This is just going to be a short video about sawing patterns and wood uh, grain types. I'm going to talk about quarter sawn, I'm going to talk about flat sawn or plain sawn, and I'm going to talk about rift sawn. Show you some illustrations of each and the good and the bad of each and how they're cut from the log. Stay tuned. I'm going to start with flat sawn or plain sawn it's because it's the most common. It's the easiest to uh, cut from the log because it's just slabbed off the log. And you can see by the end grain you see almost flat grain as opposed to that quarter sawn board right below it there in the illustration. Uh, and then you tend to uh, not only see the full curve and the end grain, you see also that uh, sort of a cathedral look in the flat panel of the wood because you're kind of slicing through the edges of the grain. As you see this coming illustration, you'll, you'll get an idea of why it looks like that. If this is a log, and those are the growth rings, and the log is sawn just straight or flat like this, you'll see that that top board would be considered a plain sawn board or a flat sawn board. The next two would probably be considered rift, and the bottom two yellow boards would be considered quarter sawn. And so that top board, if that is a plain sawn board or a flat sawn board, it's going to look like this as it comes off the log because it's out towards the perimeter of the log and it has been cut, so to speak, almost parallel with the growth rings. And so you'll see as this uh, piece of wood, uh, so to speak, extrudes from this log, you'll get that cathedral pattern on the flat panel and you're going to see the big curves on the end grain. A downside of flat side lumber is, or flat sawn lumber, is that when it shrinks, when it dries, it'll tend to cup because the longer grain on the outside of the board basically just has farther to go. So it's going to shrink farther than the shorter grain on the inside diameter. Hence, the board will cup toward the outside of the log. Now we'll take a look at quarter sawn lumber. Quarter sawn is trying to reach the end grain being 90 degrees with the face of the board. Actually, technically it's considered 90 degrees to 60 degrees off the flat side of the board is considered quarter sawn lumber. So you're going to get straight, long, tight grain down the length of the board. Here's just a huge slab of fur that I got that happens to be quarter sawn. Uh, here's a quarter sawn guitar top, and you can see, I'm trying to get close here, just how straight up and down those grains are uh, on that piece of spruce for the top of that guitar. So it's called quarter sawn because the log is quartered. And once they've quartered the log, there are two ways to go about this. You can cut flats off of the two flat sides kind of like this is illustrating. And again, you're going to get, you know, probably six to eight of these pieces are going to be considered quarter sawn. As you get out towards the end there, they're probably going to be considered rift sawn. But uh, this is one way quarter sawing is done with a quarter of a piece of wood. The other way is to then turn it at 45 degrees, cut it straight, and you're still getting a lot more yield with quarter sawn grain. Again, most of these are going to be considered quarter sawn, probably almost all of these except for out on the perimeter there. Those angles are getting pretty steep. So just to illustrate this another way, if this was the log and those are the growth rings, if you have quartered this log and then cut it either that way or cut it the other way where I described it as cutting the flats off of those two quartered sides, you'll see that as this board is extruded out here, 
It's got very straight, tight grain on the flat surface and just about 90 degree grain on the end grain surface. Uh, here's a big slab that came off of a, a fir tree and you can see it, it's laying pretty flat on its own because when it shrinks it doesn't want a cup. It just basically gets tighter. Now finally here is a rift sawn board. Again rift sawing they consider the grain angle off the surface of the board anywhere between 60 degrees and 30 degrees uh, and they say optimally it's at 45 degrees kind of like this board I'm showing you here. Here's a rift sawn board illustrated uh, on uh, in this animation and you can see what that board looks like. It's just the grain's going to be a little further apart on the flat surface and you're going to see that nearly 45 degree angle on the end grain surface. So that's rift sawn lumber Again, 30 to 60 degree angle on the grain, on the end grain. And then flat sawn lumber, which is pretty much flat. You're cutting just out at the perimeter of the log. And then finally, quarter sawn lumber, where the optimum would be 90 degrees with the face of the board, very similar to this board I'm holding here. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If that's the case, please subscribe and thank you for watching.